there are growing fears views that sudan's darfur region could once again plunge into instability united nations and african union's peacekeeping mission unamid has announced to withdraw from darfur region of sudan yesterday was the last day of unamid and within the next 5 months unamid will withdraw its uh, staff from uh, darfur region UNAMID has around 8000 civilian and uh, uniformed staff in uh, Darfur region this staff was ensuring security and, and stability in the region now uh, UNAMID is withdrawing as since uh, last week when this announcement came people have been protesting in Darfur especially in south Darfur views they do not want uh, un peacekeepers to leave this area there are growing fears that once again there could be a resumption of ethnic violence your uh, crisis in darfur started in 2003 uh, generally we can say it is uh, an arab versus non arab conflict jem uh, and slm two groups launched war against sudan's government jem justice and equality movement and slm sudan's liberation uh, movement led by abdul wahid noor these two groups waged war against uh, sudan's uh, government sudan's uh, army and janjaweed fighters Janjaweed fighters are now incorporated in RSF Rapid Support Force of Sudan views. This fighting has cost tens of thousands of lives viewers. Uh thousands of people have been displaced. Security situation in Darfur is not satisfactory and at this critical time UNAMID has decided to withdraw from Darfur region. that is why people darfuris are protesting because they want unamid officials to to keep on doing their law and order duties because uh, in the past few days after the announcement came regarding the withdrawal of unamid uh, we have seen several incidents of humanitarian violations that is why fears are mounting that once again this region could plunge into instability though in 2010 a ceasefire agreement was signed between uh, the, the parties to the conflict in darfur viewers uh, but security situation is not satisfactory jem justice and equality movement has become part of sudan's transitional council but slm sudan's liberation movement led by abdul wahid noor is not part of sudan's uh, government and it has very strong presence in darfur region of sudan uh, secondly viewers uh, after the withdrawal of unamid now sudanese forces will be deployed here uh, slm and jem have been fighting against sudanese forces Sudanese forces have been accused of genocide and war crimes in Darfur in the past. Now Sudanese forces are being deployed here. They will be deployed here. And SRF could also be deployed here. RSF could also be deployed here. Rapid Support Force and Rapid Support Force has mostly uh, Janjaweed fighters viewers. Janjaweed fighters uh, were fighting against JEM and SLM in uh, Darfur region of Sudan. that is why it is being feared that after the withdrawal of uh, unamid staff if janjaweed fighters are deployed here uh, it could once again lead to ethnic violence in darfur region let's see what happens i think for watching